Hello everyone. It is May 11th today, I do believe. I started in Hydrus yesterday, and I was really hoping to start it with the new tractor, the 79 model Case 2870 I bought, but it's not without issues at this moment. And being in it's an older tractor, you can't just roll up the dealership and get parts, and unfortunately parts are a couple weeks away. So I pulled my dad's case magnum off the heavy harrow, sitting right over there, and uh, swapped the monitors over and now it's on it. This is a 40 foot Burgo 9200 deep tillage cultivator. It is on 12 inch spacing, which means there is a shank every 12 inches, so I'm putting an hydrus down every 12 inches. It is pulling a rental tank from my local co-op. It is a twin 1450 US gallon wagon. Quite, uh, quite an upgrade from the single 2000 gallon they used to give me. I'm hoping to be seeding this coming week with the 9150 over there. And I upgraded drills. That is a new to me Borgo model 5710. It is 42 feet on seven and a half inch spacing with my same 5350 toe between tank. Just a few years newer and a few feet bigger than the old 5700, which is for sale if anybody knows someone who wants one of those. I'll start the tractor up here and uh, take it out to the field. Over 42 acres last night when I started. And that noise you heard on the ground, that is an air compressor that I crudely had to install that it controls an emergency pneumatic valve for the anhydrous tank so I can shut it off from in the cab. It's a new safety regulation that uh, co op wasn't previously abiding by up until this spring. Oh, we're rolling now. Using a little over 11 gallons an hour at 6 miles an hour. 80 to 100% power load. Doing 28 to 30 acres an hour. 100 pounds an acre applied of an hydrus. This is going on canola stubble. I'll be growing wheat on these three quarters uh, that's come in here. It's really too bad I'm not in the 2870 right now. That would have been its first trial run for me as far as doing something for me on this farm. But it is pulling surprisingly well. I was not expecting this tractor to manage this toolbar with this tank as easily as it does. Because I previously pulled a 39 foot case which is one foot less than this, but the toolbar weighed a lot less, and instead of pulling a twin 1450 wagon, that was a single 1750, and this tractor had its butt full. But we had some uh, recent precipitation, and that made the ground mellow enough that it's relatively easy pulling. It's, it's really quite a blessing. If it wasn't for the recent rainfall and a little bit of snow, uh, this tractor, I'm pretty confident would be on its knees just to do four and a half miles an hour and here I am doing six miles an hour and it's not even maxed out. What a, what a difference a little bit of moisture makes. So this is the refilling process of the anhydrous tank. 
delivery driver comes, he hooks the hoses on, and I just sit here patiently while he pumps the pole, and then I'm on my merry way. I'm sure some of you last fall noticed that this toolbar was hooked up to my tow between air tank. I was banding sulfur and anhydrous in the same pass. The plan now, if the 2870 proves to be a half decent tractor whenever I get an opportunity to use it, is to buy a second tow between air tank, an older, cheaper one like a Burgo 4350, hook it onto this toolbar, pull it with the 2870, and I'll be able to band sulfur and anhydrous in the same pass or potash and anhydrous in the same pass, or heaven forbid anhydrous ever becomes too difficult to get, I could switch to banding urea with the same toolbar. Lots of options. Won't really know what to do though until I have an opportunity to run the 2870 more than just a few minutes around the yard. Have to put it under load to see if anything's just gonna fail immediately. Well, it's the following day here, or maybe a couple days later, it's May 12th. Well, that's the air compressor cutting and making that noise. To view what's going on here. Going five and a half miles an hour. 5.4, 5.5. Putting on 120 pounds an acre of actual nitrogen. And hydrous ammonia is a form of nitrogen fertilizer. Shanks are going in the ground about three and a half inches. It seems to be working quite well. Getting about four hours to a fill at this rate and uh, application rate. Changed fields, I'm on a half section now. Uh, after we picked up some acres from last fall, this is uh, one of the halves that I, that I picked up. Again, the little tractor is me, the green is where I've been, the gray is where I haven't been. Coming to the end of the round soon. Brought you back after I turned around. I, I really kind of need both hands to do everything because I'm turning the wheel. I have to lift the hydraulics to lift the toolbar to the ground. I have to turn the master switch off for the anhydrous. And then I have to re-engage the auto steer, which is a button down here. There's a lot going on in a small amount of time. If I had my head strap, I might be able to get some of this on video. I need my hands. At this rate, I'm getting about 80 acres to a fill and doing about 25 acres an hour. So it works out to about exactly four hours to a fill. I, I kind of like that. Pretty substantial upgrade from the single 2,000 gallon they used to give me versus these twin 1450s. It's a really short round in this field. There's a ditch that cuts the field kind of in half to help drain it. It's a lot of turnaround time going on at 90 degrees. This is my old Raven 450 monitor. And you can see where it says booms and it's numbered one to six. That's in sections. This toolbar has valves every 10 feet to control the flow of an hydrus. So if I come over to a place where it's kind of a pie shape, or the field isn't totally square, there's, there'd be overlap. So I can manually hit these switches, which will close off some of the sections so I don't double apply an hydrous on unsaid lap acres. Now, this is kind of an, uh, an, uh, an antiquated monitor that I keep around as a spare. Uh, in my Case 9150, I have an Outback Rebel monitor and it has automatic sectional control uh, software in it. So this isn't used at all and just immediately close off, close off the sections as necessary. But this was a last ditch 
uh, solution to a problem, and the problem being my 2870 is not quite up to par for field use yet. I did set it up with sectional control as well, but I couldn't take the sectional control, the automatic sectional control from the 2870 and put it in this tractor. It doesn't work then. Yesterday was an extraordinarily productive day. I was in the field by 5.30 in the morning and I worked till midnight. About a 19 hour day, I suppose. Um, and I was going six miles an hour on the home three quarters because the, the soil is a little different than this stuff here. This is much harder ground. Have to go a little slower to give the dirt more time to fill into the furrows so then the anhydrous can seal into the ground. Because anhydrous, when it's exposed to the atmosphere, it turns into a vapor. But if it, if it can get covered with dirt, it will stay a liquid and it will bond with the soil. So I've had to slow down from six miles an hour to five and a half. So I went from about 29 acres an hour to about 24, 25 acres an hour. So yesterday I covered a whopping 340 acres uh, with only a 40 foot toolbar. And I had a little over two hours of downtime between waiting for fills for the anhydrous tank and had some GPS trouble. The, the memory of it got full for the first time in years and I just couldn't remember how to clear all the files from it. Just like a computer or anything else, there's only so much memory and it simply couldn't go anymore without the memory being cleared. So got a hold from a got a hold of a guy from a case dealer to walk me through it. 